Please be seated. The people who lived in darkness will see a great light. John writes, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made or came into being. In him was life. And that life was the light of men. The light that shines in the darkness and the darkness has never understood it. Darkness is something we find frightening. As a child, I remember I liked to sleep with the light one for a long time. We're afraid of the dark, of what it holds. The people of Israel were waiting for a Messiah. They were waiting for deliverance and they were waiting for a warrior or someone spectacular to come and save them and God surprised them because he didn't send a mighty warrior he didn't send someone in armour he sent a baby a child in all its meekness in all its frailty he sent a child but that child was Christ the Lord that child who came into the world came in to change lives and to change the world, to make the world whole. That child is the light of the world. Not was as in the past, but is the light of the world. In the present, in the here, in the now, today, in 2010, he is Christ the Lord. He is the King of Kings. He is Christ the Saviour and he is born this day. Born in Bethlehem. Born to be the King of Kings and the Light of Lights. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it because in this day He has given us the most wonderful gift of light, of hope, and of peace. This is Christmas Day. Let us come and greet together and share the light amongst ourselves as we share the light one with another let us wish each other a merry christmas and welcome into one another's lives the light of the world the love and joy of christmas be with you all this day and to receive the light share the light with us and so let us all share in the gift of his love the peace of christ
thousands of, literally thousands of paw prints of the fox. And we've got this wonderful image of the fox going, running through the garden, going, boing! <laughs> Who put them there? Has another go, boing! I'm still not getting this! So we feel duty bound to leave our lights on at night just for foxes, so they know where they're going. The lights sparkle, the lights sparkle, and it's such as the sharpness of the nights we've had in the beautiful frosty nights that we've enjoyed. <laughs> <coughs> this lights do sparkle, and it's that sparkling light that we think about of Christmas time. This light of the world, this wonderful image of light that's given to us, the image of light that dispels all darknesses. And I hope and pray that this Christmas time, whatever darkness is yours, you're allowed to be dispelled by the light of Christ. Because if Christmas is to mean anything, as I've already said, it is that we allow that light into our lives and to dispel the darkness that sometimes is there. We're going to stand with one hand holding a candle, the other hand opening our hymn books, which should be fun. And we're going to sing hymn number 301, the great Christmas hymn. 301, hark, the herald angels sing. Glory to the Lord. Silver 
tinsel on? Anybody got red tinsel on? Anybody got green tinsel on? Anybody got all colour gold? Quite a lot. Um, this is an, I used this in an assembly at Glen Lee and, um, and that's it. I do apologise if you had it before, but it suddenly came to the reality of the tinsel. In the tinsel, we decorate our houses with actually the whole story of Christ. First of all, there is the gold. Why the significance of gold? All answers gratefully received. The wise men. Why? And they brought gold. They brought gold. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Frankincense and myrrh are are spices. Um, anoint. They're used for anointing um, both dead and kingship. They're both used in different ways. But the important one is the gold, and because that's the symbol of kingship, is the symbol of importance. So when we put the gold tinsel up, we're remembering that we are celebrating the birth of the King of Kings. Anybody got um, green silver, green tinsel up? Green tinsel, well, there's green tinsel on the tree. I thought about taking it off and using it as a prop, but I thought better off it. Green tinsel, well, green tinsel reminds us of the green of the Christmas trees that we very often have. Although in every case, of course, you see a lot of different coloured trees. But if you have a real tree, they're funny enough, they're all coloured green. Fir trees have got a habit of being that way, because fir trees is what we use. What fir? We use them for what we in the houses. And the thing is about the fir trees is they never lose their leaves. They are, the needles stay on until you chop them down. Then the needles will fall off. Oh boy, do they fall off. Anybody ever had a real tree? Yes. Oh yes, you know the experience then of needles in the feet? Three, six months later when you're not expecting it, that takes you by surprise. But the green reminds us, evergreen, green reminds us that the tree, the fir tree is always green. It never dies, that symbol of <coughs> eternal light. Eternal life. So we've got the gold reminding us of the King of Kings. The green tinsel reminds us of God's promise that in His Son we have eternal life. And then there's red tinsel. Red tinsel reminds us of Christ who died on the cross, His blood shed that we might be forgiven, that we might have that green of eternal life. And then there's the silver. The silver tinsel that dazzles and is bright. The silver tinsel that stands out so beautifully. The silver tinsel that reminds us of the light of the world, the light of the star. And lo and behold, hear my star in the trumpet. It's the first time he's been the star in the trumpet. <laughs> the star that's in the trumpet resplendent with its silver that reminds us of the bright star shining. Remember the children's rhyme, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. The silver reality of light, and that's the light of the world. So in the tinsel we put up to decorate our houses is encapsulating <coughs> the whole story of Christ, the light of the world, who came to be the gold king of kings, who came to die on the cross, his blood shed, our red, <coughs> to offer us eternal life. That is the green, the evergreen reality of God's love. 